All right, guys, so we just arrived. I was on the lookout for an M5. A lot of you guys said you guys want a V10 on the channel, and we were going for this one, very mint, 71,000 miles. And you guys know on this channel, I don't really look for mint. I look for um, this one. <laughs> this one, as soon as he told me he has a totaled one, I was like, I'd rather have the totaled one, maybe because we can save it on the channel. This is the guy right here. Um, you guys are actually a dealership, not a Craigslist person, right? So what's the dealership name? LG Auto Sales. LG Auto Sales. And uh, you guys specialize in BMW yeah, stuff? BMWs and Mercedes M's and AMG's only. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. He gave me the, the friends and homie discount. So yeah. a huge shout out to him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get this thing home. We have a bunch of little carbon fiber goodies as well. And uh, these little side carbon fiber grills. Here are the damage. Nothing too crazy. This is his buddy right here. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys. We'll get more into it. The car doesn't start right now. We'll get more into it. Hopefully we get it home. But uh, again, huge special shout out to them. Uh, I appreciate both of you guys no for coming out here. So yes guys, it is an E60 M5. We were gonna go purchase an E60 M5 2006, but then when I went to go check out a 2006, he had a 2008. This 2006 was absolutely mid condition, uh, 71,000 miles, and there was nothing wrong with it. But then when he told me, I started talking about my YouTube channel and stuff like that, he's like, I have a 2008 in the back that's currently messed up, crashed, and it is a clean title. And uh, I said 2008, that's an LCI, that, which is a, probably one of the best E60 M5s and at the same time. And I was like, hmm, a damaged car? That's perfect, that's perfect for me because you guys know we like to save BMWs on the channel. This one he was honestly about to send back to the auction. He, it was his personal car, it got totaled, and then he's like, you know what, I'm gonna send it back. And he was selling me his other E60 M5 and I was like, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'd rather honestly have a project. Before getting too much into it, let's go ahead and just unravel the car and show you guys the car. I'm sure you guys really wanna see it. <laughs> So here it is guys, an E60 M5 2008, which if you guys don't know, this is the first year of the LCI. And yes, it doesn't look too pretty. We have a few, we have a little damage part right here. This headlight looks pretty good. The bumper honestly might be salvageable. We'll have to see how this ends up being. This headlight obviously needs to get replaced, new hood. And then just, this honestly just needs to get repainted. We should be good to go on that. The damage isn't too crazy, but let me go and open up the hood because everyone knows that the E60 M5 comes with the M. V10. So yes, guys, we got this car for a steal of the deal, but we have a 50-50 chance of end up scoring or we lost really, really, really bad. Reason I say that we it's a 50-50 chance is because we cannot get the engine to turn over. All it's doing is constantly cranking, and uh, that means either the, the engine is honestly bad or it could be something very minor. I'll go in and get into all the codes this car has. It's nothing too crazy. Before we actually get into all that and start diagnosing, I think I just want to show you guys the whole car because I'm super, super, super excited about about this this one also is not a base package which I'm really happy about and it's a clean title so we can actually restore it to perfection it's worth restoring to perfection because it's a clean title so first things first guys as you guys can see all these little metal things here are broken like this bracket needs to get replaced this hood latch might need to get replaced I don't know if this is bent or this is how it's supposed to be if any of you guys have an E60 E60 M5 DM me on Instagram and show me this side because this side is straight um, but this side it does look like it's caved in a little bit but according to this bracket it just looks normal but I I don't know this bracket could be really bent so let me know down below guys 
send me some pictures and uh, let me know if this is normal or not. The next thing is we're gonna have to upgrade the intakes because I don't like all this copper stuff all over it. So we're gonna have to throw in some nasty good sounding intakes. Probably have to take off this bumper, whatever brackets are down here. I'm really just wondering how bad the damage is. So we might have to start taking all this stuff apart. And obviously we need a new hood. These hoods come off a regular E60 guys, like 525. That is really, really, really sad. But on the plus side, that means we only need a 525 hood. And actually they have the exact same paint code on a 525. So we could probably find a hood for like 100 bucks from pick and pull or 50 bucks. So we could just swap that out. So we might honestly go down to pick and pull because possibly this whole part right here could be from pick and pull as well from a regular 525. So this might be a super big budget build, which I'm hoping. And then also this headlight is from pick and pull. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So as you guys can see as well for a 2008, it has heads up display, which is an absolute shocker. And it has the extended leather on the dash, which is really, really, really nice. I haven't had an E key, like an E chassis key in a long time, guys. Feels good. So coming around to the interior, like I said, guys, the extended leather, which is probably one of the coolest things for an 08, guys, for an 08, heads up display, extended leather, like this just looks really good. And for those of you guys who don't know about LCIs, the LCI has this trim that just looks a lot more modern. So this wood, I don't know if you guys know, is real wood. So all this is real, real, real wood. Ac according to the online forums and a friend of mine, that's what he told me. So believe it or not, this is actually real wood. And for the LCIs, all this looks a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks. I'll throw up a picture right here of how the 06s look compared to the 08s, the LCIs. And the LCIs look so much better. These also have the heated seat options, which is super, super, super cool. It has a little cigarette tray and everything works here which is awesome look how slow that opens that is just so cool and none of the trim pieces are peeling here this guys is honestly an absolute blessing i couldn't believe it when i saw when he said he had an 08 i was just super excited for it another thing that's also damaged is this paddle is broken it just literally wiggles it doesn't even click so we need a new paddle here this steering wheel is a slightly beat up and uh we might need a new steering wheel here from ozza i have to reach out to them because you guys already know oz has got the best wheels in the world so we're gonna have to try to get a steering wheel from them the next thing I'm not the biggest fan of is that this has been repainted. I'm gonna try to find the original piece for this because I want to restore this. This is an M5 clean title with 140,000 miles. Does seem like a lot of miles, but every other M5 I see on the market, they are around similar miles, which is absolutely insane for a V10. Like, how can you afford that? <laughs> like, the fuel economy and the oil. Oh, man, I'm gonna go bankrupt. But, I mean, we got this for a smoking good deal. And for $5,000, guys, I couldn't believe it when he said it. So, basically, off he told me I have this clean title, which is what I went there to go look at. And, uh, basically, I had the money in hand. And I was like, you know what? I could buy this 71,000 miles, low mileage 2006 M5. And we can start an M collection on the channel. I don't, what do you guys think? Should we start an M collection on the channel? Like I was actually thinking about starting an M collection on the channel because we are a BMW, like we are a BMW family. So I was like, you know what? I think having all the coolest M cars on the channel would be super, super, super cool. Instead of selling them, modifying them all and make them absolutely insane. So that is the goal. So I was trying to get my hands on a legendary V10 M5 and I was gonna straight pipe it and everything, make it absolutely insane, make it look absolutely beautiful. And that was the goal when I went to go look at that one. But then when he told me he had one of these, I couldn't resist. When he told me he had an 08 LCI um, for a lot cheaper, plus it had damage, so a build series, guys. I couldn't say no. Plus, the damage wasn't that bad. Like, you guys look at the damage. Like, we could probably get that knocked down, hopefully, in a couple videos, and we're done with that. And then, hopefully, as long as the engine's good, guys, we scored. It's a 50 50 chance. Hopefully, in the next video, guys, we'll go ahead and determine if the engine is good or bad. I've already reached out to Carly. We're going to be trying to sponsor the next video, hopefully, and also give away some Carly adapters. So, that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be using my Carly adapter to diagnose the car and hopefully put in whatever we need to get this thing started. If it starts, guys, we are golden. The previous owner did assure me that the car starts, but but um, I'm really hoping he is right. He's saying the engine's perfectly fine. I get into all the details of what he's actually done to the engine. Uh, but before we actually do that, let's, let's go back to the interior. I'm just too excited. This whole roof, guys, I don't know if you guys know, but apparently, I don't know if all M5s are like this. Correct me if not, but this is all Alcantara from the factory, which just looks so good. Like OEM Alcantara just looks amazing. It's so, so, so nice. Like, look at that, guys. That is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm just oh my god i love this car i cannot wait to restore it 100 percent this steering wheel also has a heated steering wheel option again this thing is fully loaded i think it also has the harman kardon sound system i'm not
not sure. Let me know down below, guys. But it has this little uh, trim around here, and I think the e-chassis, when they have this trim around here, it means it's the upgraded sound system. Let me know. But I normally see Harman Kardon if it is Harman Kardon right here, so I'm not really too sure. So let me know down below, guys. If you guys look at the door, all this is like really thick and nice leather. Like, I feel like this is one of the few M cars that BMW's really put like real, real thick leather everywhere. Look at that extended leather option right there. All this extended leather. It just looks so amazing. So also guys, these rear windows have the rear sunshades, which is pretty awesome. And then also the rear seats are heated rear seats. We have them folded on right now because the trunk isn't hooked up. This trunk, he got off a pickle pole. We'll get into that a little bit, but yeah, these rear, these rear seats are heated rear seats as well. Again, this thing has like, pretty nice options but also guys we're gonna have to do the cup holder test because every bmw's cup holders are garbage so uh first cup holder we are in business second cup holder oh all right you see already see there's already a broken one right there so oh but it still works it still works it works sometimes uh we might have to get a new cup holder there but i mean it works it works wow that is a huge glove box Guys, the leather feels so good. It feels so nice. I cannot believe this. So come around to the back, like I said earlier, guys. So you actually picked this trunk off from pick and pull and threw it on this car because he was gonna send this car off to the auction. Like I said, guys, he didn't really want it. So he was like, you know what? Let's just send it off to the auction and uh, take off all my carbon fiber mods. Yes, carbon fiber mods, which he was so kind to actually give to us, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Look how big these tips are, guys. Okay, so that's that's another thing here. We have front and rear sensors, no backup cameras, unfortunately. Might have to retrofit one of those we do have michelins in the rear i think these are like 20 inch rims i'm not really too sure let's go ahead and see what it is they're 19s okay 19s 20 285 35 19s in the rear michelin pod super sports if you guys are noticing that it's lowered that's because it is lower these are actually uh, lowered on h and r lowering springs so it already it already looks so much better he put smoked out turn signals and he also added the carbon fiber vents these are like a 200 dollars option they never sit right but at the same time hey 200 dollars carbon fiber and M5 grills, these look so nice. We have the truck, guys. We're gonna be taking off the hood, everything that's broken, throwing it into the trunk and taking it out to a, finally a junkyard. Like we finally have a truck that we can take junk to the junkyard, get new parts, bring it here for the M5. This is an absolute blessing, guys. This is why I got a truck on the channel. So for builds, we can actually tow our build home, tow it to the shop, tow it to the track. And at the same time, if we need parts, we can go get parts like a hood, a fender, a rear axle, whatever we need, we can throw it in the trunk. And when we're taking apart cars, we actually have a place to actually junk those things. I, I mean, how am I supposed to junk a hood without a truck? So come around side of the garage. We're not actually moving any of my dad's cars out, mainly because the M5 doesn't move, it doesn't start. So we're gonna be working outside today, uh, getting some vitamin D. We do have a bunch of carbon fiber goodies, about 2,500 dollars worth of carbon fiber goods i did say one of them is the trunk and uh but that's not the only thing guys it's insane how much carbon fiber came with this m5 and i actually told him like hey you, you know are you willing to give me that carbon fiber and he was 100 percent down like really cool dudes but anyway i asked him and he was super 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 cool and i'm hoping everything he said was honest um from everything he's telling me he seems like a very honest and nice dude so i'm super sad about that and i'm really hoping like what he said is that it's something very minor that's wrong with the car that won't crank over because if that's the case um we really scored on this car guys because we got it for five thousand i've been looking these up and they're going for around 20 which means it is worth dumping a bunch of money into some crazy modifications like a full straight piped exhaust and i'm just super 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 excited for this build guys i want to make it look so good i want to restore it i want to start an m collection on the channel let me know guys if that's something you guys want to see on this channel full m collection a lot of rebuilds of also cheaper cars because that's what this channel was about that's what we resurrected and i feel like i've been kind of going in a different direction but we're going back to the original nor vlogs and the Nor rebuilds, of course. I don't know if you guys just saw the carbon right there, but if you did, you guys got a sneak peek. But anyhow, I'm not even gonna put the like go high. 2,000 likes, guys, and I'll show you guys all the carbon fiber stuff. I'll stop putting it on next video. Um, I don't know about all of them, maybe some of them, because we are gonna be wrapping this car as well. So uh, maybe just one of them, maybe the trunk. So that's uh, 2,000 likes, guys. I'll show you guys all the carbon fiber goodies that came with the car. But let's get back to the M5 and start taking this thing apart because I really wanna see, is the damage really that bad? Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down?
Guys, that's what I'm talking about. It literally fits in here perfectly. So yeah, it does fit hoods. That is the, the main purpose of me getting this thing. I'm, I'm honestly so stoked about this. I don't know why I'm just super happy. Now I can take the junk directly to the junkyard instead of leaving my dad's backyard. And me and my dad are gonna be on a good note and we're gonna be drinking tea and everything. Good stuff. So now that the car looks a lot better without a hood, <laughs> let's go ahead and start moving the headlight and all these other little bracket pieces here and uh, just start junking things. So something with older BMWs that I absolutely hate is the fact that there's even rivets holding this stuff together. So uh, let's go ahead and draw out those rivets. There's one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the top, one on the bottom. The top one's gonna be easy, the bottom one's not so much, but uh, let's go ahead and try to just draw out these rivets and just remove this. The reason I'm removing this is because um, I wanna see what's going on with this bracket compared to this bracket. And again, we wanna get all the parts off so we can try to get an estimate of how much this is gonna cost us uh, to replace all this stuff. All right guys, now that we got the crash bar off, pretty much everything that's attached to it is in pretty good shape. This is in good shape. Uh, the horn's in good shape. The windshield washer system is in good shape. Uh, also these sensors up top for the airbag modules are also in good shape. So the only thing that they actually marked up is a slight little dent here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to remove those marks because that's not a big deal. Uh, this crash bar is still perfectly intact. No issues. Again, like a few little dings here and there. Um, that's obviously for insurance reasons so they can obviously uh, charge the insurance a lot more. So that's why shops literally mark up every little imperfection. So uh, these are literally perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. We're gonna go and clean up all of that. So this whole thing is perfectly good. As for the bumper guys, I don't really know if this is repairable. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a kind of more slope. This is coming up more. I think it's kind of like bent. I don't know if with enough heat, this is bendable back and then this whole bumper is just gonna be sanded down, uh, fixed up and reused because other than that, uh, the tabs and everything is in pretty good shape and uh, literally just this stuff needs to get sanded down and repainted. So you might even have a good bumper because these bumpers are like five six hundred dollars and uh, thankfully we have the grill as well It also helps out though that they actually marked everything so looking at this they actually marked this entire bracket um, And actually this whole thing comes off looks like easily one piece just need to unbolt sun over there And uh, also looks like we need to replace this bracket as well It's slightly a little bent here and uh, they didn't mark up this I don't know why they didn't mark up this and they didn't mark this so uh, probably this is you get pulled out a little bit Yeah, I can see that but without further ado Let's go ahead and just remove this bracket anything else that looks like it's bent and marked up. Uh, thank Thankfully, it looks like the insurance did pretty much half the job, uh, which is literally marking everything that is uh, messed up. So we just need to remove everything that has a mark on it. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon breezy. This is a little fan guard right here. It looks like it's held down by three bolts. Um, I don't know why this is here. I've never seen any other BMW, but uh, just because it's here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and restore it. Again, we want this to be as OEM as possible. So let's take it out these three bolts, remove this little guy, and uh, see what else we need to actually end up removing as well. Alrighty, just remove this little dude. Again, doesn't look like too big of a deal, but I want this to be as OEM and as clean title looking as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this as well. And then the last thing I noticed on this side, there's no actual impacts or any marks, but I did notice that up here, uh, it's, it's cracked. This is definitely cracked. So let's go ahead and just remove this as well. I don't know if I removed the headlight, but uh, let's go ahead and remove this because we need to get this bracket out. And at this point, guys, uh, I think we pretty much removed everything that's pretty much messed up. Other than this fender, obviously, this fender is also damaged, but this can get repaired as it is on the car. So I'm not really too worried about that. We'll get that fixed up. I want to keep all the original panels as much as possible. I'm really happy that this little uh, thing is right here and the VIN number is right here, not actually on the hood. So uh, we're going to be keeping everything original, which I'm really happy about. Something I also notice is that this one, I think, has an adaptive suspension, which is super cool. I love how much options this thing has. I'm going to be getting into all the maintenance the previous owner has done to this motor. So I'm really hoping 
uh, everything is good to go. But obviously I'll get into all that if the motor is good. So hopefully in the next video I'll be testing that out. As for this, it looks like everything that they replaced is non-major. Like this cooler, there's no dents, no scratches, no nothing. All these coolers look good. All these lines look perfectly good. There's a bunch of scary things here that look good. <laughs> Nothing I have to replace. And obviously both frame rails are looking absolutely pristine. So um, pretty much, I mean, the last things we have to do is just start getting all of our pieces, putting it all on here, take it out of the body shop, pull this thing out, and we should be ready to go. So in terms of things you have to replace, you have to replace both headlight brackets on both sides. We need to replace this little fan guard here, um, this little washer nozzle. I'm gonna take pictures of all this so tonight I can order it all. And uh, these, this actually goes on the bumper itself. So a little bumper cover. A V-brace, which I've actually never seen on an E-chassis, so this car has a V-brace. Both of those grills, and then these are also like radiator support, so both of these need to get replaced as well. This headlight, I don't know if there's any salvageable parts off of it. It is a Xenon. Um, I might actually take off, let's see here, this back door. I think it's worth something if our headlight doesn't have it, and also those two modules on the bottom. Other than that, I think everything else is pretty much shot. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this bracket shot as well. In terms of things that are good, I believe this bumper is good. That little uh, scoop there is good. This headlight is perfectly good, which is a huge plus. Again, headlight's probably one of the most expensive things on the front end. And then obviously this entire crash bar with the horn sensors and everything is perfect. So super happy about that, guys. This thing should hopefully, hopefully be on the road soon, considering that it is a clean title and I have to go through all those salvage inspections. That's also considering this motor is good, guys. Please, God, smash that like button. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to dive diagnose this thing and hope to goodness this engine is good again 50 50 chance if it's blown um it's going to be a longer project than i expected if it's good we're going to be modifying as soon as possible so make sure to smash the like button guys 2000 likes and hopefully we'll be diving into this car and finally 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 getting it started because i really want to sound i really want to hear how this thing sounds i'm super stoked about it another thing i'm super stoked about is getting parts for this car because everything for this car i can get from pick and pull literally other than the front bumper and uh, that's pretty much it i think just the front bumper um and everything else i think you can get off of like a 525 or a 535 they're the exact same parts other than i think the headlight brackets are a little bit different um but for the most part again i'll show you guys tonight i'm gonna try to get into some things order some parts and i'll show you guys how much the total cost of me rebuilding this m5 is gonna end up being it is super hot i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the entire driveway and uh, i'll probably get to you guys probably in the next video i'm gonna cut this video here because i'm gonna clean up start working on the truck go home start ordering some things or start looking up some pickup poles let me know down below guys should i try to get all the pick all the parts from pick a pull do you think that's gonna be more interesting trying to make it a budget build or should i just go ahead and place an order all of the stuff on ebay both of them should be cheap but uh e i think pick a pull would be a lot funner i think so i think so anywho without further ado guys i'm also gonna be heading home and hopefully working in our garage our garage is pretty much all getting cleaned up repainted gonna be putting up all the youtube plaques gonna be putting up all the companies that i work with their banners and everything i literally loaded up all the youtube packs in the rear so all of you guys have contributed to any of the bills in the past i'm actually gonna finally put these all up on the wall in our garage make it literally like a showcase theme it's gonna look so sick so i finally got everything out of here i'm gonna take it to my other place and hang it all up take pictures of them with every single car again shout out to keys motorsports one of my biggest sponsors i'm super 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 excited i just cannot believe it but b10 on the channel please let, let's not get screwed like the seven series the seven series we're putting a new transmission i don't know if you guys are following me on instagram make sure to follow me on instagram i give you guys updates on there man i have a major sunburn but the seven series is getting a new transmission it is absolutely shot it is what it is we, we spent about 700 dollars trying to fix it we're gonna have to dump in another two grand replacing the transmission i'll keep you all posted without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out